Um, and now it's time to welcome Ku Tao from the Nonfiction Workshop. Hi everyone, I'm Ku Tao, I use he, him pronouns. Um, <clears throat> I'm 5'7", a tan skin, Southeast Asian man, wearing gray shorts and a black tank top with white letters that says it's an honor just to be Asian. Um, I want to thank Lambda for giving me the queer summer camp that I never knew I needed. Um, <laughs> I was going to read a different piece tonight, but an hour ago I felt called to switch to this piece because I grew up about an hour away from here in a small rural town and rural church that taught me to hate myself. And then I went to college about 20 minutes from here at a Catholic university that looks exactly like this with a mascot that looks exactly like their mascot. And 20 years ago when I was at that college, we had to fight for the first Gay Street Alliance on campus. And when we were finally allowed to, we weren't allowed to have the word gay in the name. So to come back to Pennsylvania is always hard for me, but this week, y'all have healed so much inside of me. And you, you're helping me to reclaim these places and spaces, and you're helping me to rewrite that chapter of my life. So this is for all of you. This is an excerpt from my memoir. The title of this chapter is, Is Theater Like Gay? <laughs> I look at the ugly white wig in my hands, slap it on top of my head, and stomp across the wooden stage of the cafeteria. Staring back at me is a sea of white families who have come to watch our third grade school play. I don't bother looking for my parents. Dad is at work and mom is sleeping after third, ship, third shift at the Lipton factory. I grab the mic, lean into the stand, and proudly say my line. I am George Washington. <laughs> I feel like a real hero standing here representing our country, our founding president. A ripple of giggles wriggle through the audience. Why are they laughing? I take a bow as applause fills my eardrums and I exit stage right. I can only speculate now what tickled their chortles. Was it that a small Asian child was daring to claim America's throne? I don't know. What I do know is that I lived for the applause. <laughs> Being on stage lit something inside of me. It allowed me to leave myself behind and don a character, a mask completely different from me. It was like the mask I wore at home, school, or church to hide my truest self. Yet wearing masks was praised in the world of theater. I found my people. The dreamers, attention seekers, we were the artists, the kooky ones, the queers, though all of us were closeted at the time. <laughs> Senior year of high school, I was the lead in the musical. Who knew that a closeted Hmong boy would be playing John Truitt in Meet Me in St. Louis amongst the manure-soaked cornfields of Lancaster County? <laughs> a woman came up to me after opening night. She grabbed my hand and told me that my performance brought her to tears. It was a full circle moment, the giggles when I proclaimed that I was George Washington nine years earlier, and now making white women cry in a show that was never made for someone like me. In high school, theater wasn't the only circle I ran in. Always the consummate actor on or off stage, I blended into any environment. At church, I played the role of director of musicals. Outside of church, I played the role of straight pretty boy with other Hmong outcasts. We were the rebels. The kids whose jeans were too baggy, jinkle pant legs too wide, platform shoes too high, hair too bleached. The ones who snuck out of church while the pastor was praying because we knew which prayers would take the longest. We'd walk to the gas station and smoke marble menthol lights behind the parking lot. If we were really bored, we'd go to the petting zoo and smoke in the gazebo while feeding the ducks. On weekends, I'd use youth group as cover to go to raves in the cornfields where we'd smoke, drink, and drop whatever pills we were handed. We did what we could to feel alive in a town that was trying to suffocate us, a church who was trying to save us, a society who told us we were nothing more than chinks or thugs. Partying and theater were my escape from a world that said I did not belong, a world where all I had, a world where I had to wear my masks at all times. 
Thank you. Woo!